All right, so we have completed this PVT or fluid parameter section. And now we can move to our inflow or reservoir section. We click this one. All right, you can follow me. Reservoir model, Darcy. Mechanical and geometric skin, Caracas and Tarik. Deviation and partial penetration skin, Chincho and Martin Bronze correlation. And for reservoir data, reservoir pressure of 3450 PSIG, reservoir temperature of 210, water cut quite high, 80%, total GOR of 800 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel, no compaction permeability model, and no relative permeability data. All right, for model data, we start from reservoir model. Reservoir permeability of 50 millidarcies, reservoir thickness of 100 feet, drainage area of 500 acres, DHC factor 31.6. So it is the value by assuming a radial reservoir. You can also calculate the DHC factor using this tool. All right, provided that you have length, width, distance to site D1 and distance to N D2 data. All right, we can click cancel. And for well bore radius of 0 0.354. And then for mechanical or geometric skin, I've prepared my data. I'm just going to copy my data and paste the data here. All right, okay, you can follow me. Reservoir permeability of 50 millidarcies, shot density of 8 per foot, perforation diameter of 0 0.43 inches, perforation length of 9.2 inches, perforation efficiency, let's say 90% or 0 0.9 in fraction, damage zone thickness 8 inches, Damage zone permeability of 25 millidarcy, so it's half of the reservoir permeability. And crust zone thickness of 0 0.2 inches. And crust zone permeability of 12.5 millidarcy, so it's half of the damage zone permeability. All right. Shot facing 120 degrees. Well radius again 0 0.354 with vertical permeability of five millidarcies. All right, so far so good. You can also perform calculation using this one. All right, or this one. Okay, but of course it seems a bit more challenging if we use this calculation method. All right, now we go to deviation or partial penetration skin. All right, so we have a deviated well with deviation of 13 degrees. Penetration one as a fraction or 100%. So we will penetrate all the thickness of our reservoir. And again, vertical permeability of five millidarcies. And lastly, we will go to send control. This is the data section for our gravel pack. All right, for gravel pack permeability, it's 35,000 millidarcies. So of course, because it is a gravel pack, the permeability will be high, all right? Again, perforation diameter of 0 0.43, shot density of eight per foot, gravel pack length of six inches, perforation interval of 100%. So again, it is 100% penetration for our reservoir, deviation of 13 degrees, perforation efficiency of 90%, beta factor will be calculated, phase choice, multi-phase. This is typical values for our gravel type. Ottawa Sen with this mesh size will have typical permeability of this value and also carbolite and ISOPAC. All right, 
from here we can do calculation simply by just clicking this one calculate all right completed so our aof or maximum flow rate is around 14,700 stock time barrel per day click done and you can also see our beta factor has been calculated all right so we can now check by clicking this plot plot x-axis variable will be rate y-axis variables pressure and also let's say pressure drop across the send control okay so dp send control skin done all right very interesting this is our ipr and the orange line is our pressure drop across the send control so of course with higher flow rate the pressure drop will also be higher all right you can also check the description here for input data and calculated data you can check and uncheck all right you can plot other variables like this one all right you can remove all the plots and concentrating only on the ipr right okay finish finish all right so we have completed this inflow section or reservoir section now we can go to this one equipment data section 